Okay, they are saying that diagram below shows the eye uh, under different uh, conditions. Okay, hey. all right. What makes them to be different? What makes them to be different? Okay. What makes them to be different is the, sh the lens. You see the lens here? Yes. And also the lens. However, this, this, and this, these are two different conditions. No, yeah, it's the same condition. This and this are also the same conditions. However, this is too thick. It's like showing a near object, meaning that it's more convex. This convex is showing for the far object. Yes, these two. Uh, while this space shows that this space shows that more light is entering. So it could be for uh, dim light, while well, this one shows that less light is entering, which could show that is for dim light. It means that this person is dim light near object. Dim light, no, no, no. No, no, no. Bright light near object. Bright light near object. And then dim light, far object, dim light, dim light, Per object. So don't forget that if you are talking about accommodation, you talk about the sachira mass, no, 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 the CLA muscles, suspensor ligament, and the lens. And when you're talking about the pyramid mechanism, talk about the circular muscle, radio muscles, and then the iris. All right, now let's start to answer the question. Name the process that occurs, um, name the process that occurs um, when the curvature of the lens changes to focus a near or a distant object. Definitely, uh, how do you call that? We call that accommodation. We call that what? Accommodation. So it means that the answer here is going to be accommodation. It's going to be accommodation. And then they are saying that uh, the pupil size uh, to regulate the amount of light. If they are talking about the pupil size, then it's going to be pupillary mechanism. Pupillary mechanism. Then they are saying that give the letter of two uh, diagram A, C, A, B, C, or D. A, B, C, or D. That represents, mm -hmm, that represents what? It represents uh -huh, um, in dim light. Dim light, uh, dim light is going to be mm, B and D. Why B and D? It's because if you look at this space, and this space, they are big, while this space and this space, they are small. So here, more light, more light, more light enters, more light, more light, more light enters here. So it means that this is dim light, this is dim light, also this is dim light. I explain, dim light, dim light, but near object, dim light, near object, dim light, for object because the lens is less convex. Okay, they're saying that give the letter of two, so the answer is gonna be D and B. Yes, or B and D, the same thing. Then they are saying that focusing a distant object, focusing a distant object, because we are looking at the lens, the shape of the lens, so it's gonna be A and B. So the answer is going to be A and B. And then they are saying that, um, they are saying that give the letter of the two diagram, yes, that represents the eye whose uh -huh, CRM muscles, whose CRM muscles mm -hmm, are contracted. 
A and D, A, B, C, D. Cell muscles have contracted. So if the cell muscles have contracted, serial um, muscles, so the answer is going to be, when the serial muscles contract, what happens? Uh, uh, when the serial muscles contract, yes, what, hap what happens? The suspensory ligament becomes slacking. So meaning that it becomes uh, relaxed a bit. And then now the tension on the lens will decrease. When the tension on the lens decreases, the lens will become more convex. So now we come back here and then we see which one has the lens which is less, um, is more convex. Then we shall see that it's going to be C and D. So the answer is going to be C and D. The answer is going to be C and D. The answer is going to be C and D. And then radio muscles relax. Radio muscles relax. When the radio muscles relax, uh -huh, uh, remember that um, test R with R, C with C. Radio muscles relax. Radio muscles relax. Uh, circular muscles contract. And then we, since we have not mixed them up, therefore it becomes bright light. So it becomes bright light. If it becomes bright light, so what does it mean? Now it means that the diameter of the pupil becomes smaller. So I will go back and look for the diameter of the pupil when it is small. So I will see that the diameter of pupil is small here and the diameter of the pupil is also small here. So I'm going to say the answer is A and C. The answer is going to be A and C. Yeah, that's how you can answer such question if you know exactly. Ah, uh, these questions cannot make you go down. Yeah, why? Because you don't need to cram. I told you in life science, we don't cram, we understand the concept.